everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to show you the Nibs's top games for Christmas to show you our top games for Christmas Day but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more then I normally upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday at 7 a.m. but for the month of December I've been doing vlogmas so I've been uploading a video for 24 days but I think I'm gonna to go to 31 now, fingers crossed. So yes, I'm going to be uploading a video every day for 31 days. So again, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. So as I just mentioned, today I want to show you our top games for Christmas day. These are in no particular order and I'm not sponsored by anybody to make this video. I just really wanted to show you what we enjoy playing in this house um, we have a son who is five now so I'm sure that some of these games will be played on Christmas Day this year he is just started to like to play board games he's a bit of a sore loser I have to admit but we're working on that so I think the more that he plays games the more he's gonna realize that he has to lose at some point so yes I feel like we should pull out a few games on Christmas Day and I have a small selection here that I wanted to show you so here here are our top games for Christmas Day. So the first game that I wanted to show you was this one. This is actually a selection of games. So it looks like a chessboard, but actually inside it's got seven games in one. My mum bought us this probably about five or ten years ago now. She brought it from Reader's Digest, so she probably got it as a freebie knowing my mother. But yes, we've We've kept it in a cupboard um, for a really long time and then Ted started to like chess so we pulled it out and he started to play chess with this. He really likes chess but this also has in it, let me tell you what this has in it. This has chess, it has drafts I think, it has dominoes, it has chess, backgammon, cribbage, ace and card games as well. So it's, it's called the seven in one games set and it's from Reader's Digest. Um, I don't know how much it was, but if I can find something similar, I will link it in the description box below for you. And that may or may not be pulled out on Christmas day is Monopoly. Now, I'm not a massive fan of Monopoly. I think it's all about capitalism and owning stuff and I don't like that. But that's just me, I think. A lot of people love Monopoly. My husband loves it. And my husband and son did play this the other day for a little while. They didn't play it for too long because it can go on for quite a while. But my mum loves Monopoly. She really likes being the banker. There's a capitalist in there, I'm sure. But anyway, yes, this is an original wooden set Monopoly, which my husband bought quite a few years ago now. Um, it's a beautiful set. And the reason he bought it is because it has all these um, steel little, I can't remember what they're called, counters I suppose where you put them on. Um, and he, yeah, it's a, as I said, it's a beautiful little set. All the pieces, all the houses that you can buy are actually wooden as well. They're not the plastic ones. And it's got the money in there. So it's like an original Monopoly set. I don't know how much this cost, but if I can find one, I will link it in the description box below for you. The next game I have, I've just mentioned in my husband's Christmas stocking video, what I brought my husband for Christmas, which I will link in the description box below for you because it has another game in there that we haven't actually played yet and won't be able to until after Christmas but I wanted to show you this um, recently my husband went away on a boys weekend and they ended up in a pub where some gentlemen were playing dominoes and they started to join in and my husband really likes playing games and he really enjoyed dominoes so this year for his birthday which is in December I bought him this beautiful domino set it's by Jacks of London and it comes in this really lovely wooden box and it has these plastic dominoes in they're really heavy as well um, and yeah we 
he, he really enjoyed playing this game and I'm hoping that we'll be able to play this at some point over Christmas because I think Domino's is quite a good game. It's lasted such a long time in life, hasn't it? Like people were playing Domino's probably hundreds of years ago. So yes, I'm really looking forward to trying this game out and this is one probably going to be one of our best games as well. If I can find this, I will link it in the description box below for you as well. So the next game we've also played briefly and it's similar to dominoes but this is word dominoes this my husband got for his birthday this year from a friend of ours um, and he did play it briefly on the night that he got it and um, we are going to take it away with us this year as well because we've got some friends who I'm sure will really love playing this we go on holiday every year with Howard's old university friends so I'm sure that some of them will really love playing this game um, and yes it, it is quite hard to get your head around at first but once they did I noticed they really started to enjoy it um, I didn't play it I was doing something else at the time but it looked like a really fun game so I'm really looking forward to trying this I don't know if we'll do it on Christmas Day because I don't think Ted will get this game but I'm sure we will do it at some point um, yes so I'm looking forward to playing this at some point in the future and again if I can find it I will link it in the description box below for you so the next game that I thought would be a really good one for Christmas Day is the logo game this game we have played quite a lot in this house we played it with our friends or we've actually played it with my Swiss cousins who are half English but I do think it is a very British game there are lots of British logos in here that you would have to know if you were like an 80s child or something like that it can be quite difficult at parts but it can also be quite easy as well I would probably give this game a 3 out of 5 it's not the best game but everybody when they play it really enjoys playing it um, and it does take a little while it takes about an hour or so to play so make sure you've got time to play this game when you play it as well again I will link it in the description box below for you but yes we like this game and I think this is a great one for Christmas Day the next game is who's in the bag um, this game you have to pull out the name of a celebrity and get people to guess who you're holding in your hand obviously without giving the name away I'm not a great fan of this game I have to say um, it's just because I'm not very good at remembering facts and figures about people and personalities and stuff um, and I find it really difficult under pressure my husband does love it and if you've got a family that really enjoy films and TV and things like this I thought this one would be a great one for Christmas Day for you all um, but yes if I can find it again I will link it in the description box below for so you so the last two games that I thought would be brilliant for Christmas Day is 5 Second Rule Junior and 5 Second Rule if you watch the Elaine DeGeneres show Ellen DeGeneres, sorry, um, she plays this with celebrities on her show and some of the answers they come out with are hilarious. I love watching the little snippets that you get on Facebook and on YouTube and things. It's so funny and I thought this one would be a great one for Christmas Day. You do have to have your wits about you so if anybody is slightly tipsy I don't think this is a good idea but if you're all a bit sober then it's fine. Um, so what the game is about is they'll give you a subject, someone will read out a subject and you have to think of three things to do with that subject within five seconds it is so funny um, and it has people in stitches sometimes so yes I thought this would be a great one for Christmas Day and again I will link it in the description box below for you so that's all of our favorite games to play on Christmas Day and that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below what games do you enjoy playing on Christmas day i'd love to know and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye